we built this cool display to show how the 70,000 graphite blocks are assembled. Gene Woodruff will guide us through the model, starting with the bottom layer of alternating tube and filler blocks. The uh, tube blocks, of course, are the blocks that had the processed tubes and the fuel running actually through them. And, uh, and the neighboring blocks were called filler blocks, and they were just uh, solid graphite blocks that uh, were the moderator material in the reactor. In the tube layer, both the tube blocks and the filler blocks, the corners were beveled off. Angling those corners was called chamfering. The chamfered corners on those blocks created small openings or channels through the stack that allowed the helium atmosphere to move through the reactor. Let's go to the next layer, the filler layer. These bars are arranged across the tube layers. Uh, they crisscross all the way through the reactor. In the model, there's one channel open and that was for a horizontal control rod. The blocks you can see on either side of that are locked in place with small graphite keys. That was the method used throughout the reactor to stabilize the structures. Those keys were very tight fitting, very close tolerance. And the next layer up is, is a tube layer again. It's arranged front to rear and it has a cutaway to expose the, the cooling tube and a fuel element or old terminology slug as shown. And there were about 24 of those in a tube and filler pieces in front and rear to center the fuel in the center part of the reactor. On the top layer you can see small quarter inch diameter holes drilled at an angle. They penetrate down to the, the central tube bore and this aided in the helium gas distribution throughout the reactor and aided in the ability of the gas to pick up water vapor or leaks from potential leaking tube. On the back portion of that layer there is an opening produces a vertical opening in the reactor for the safety rod access into the core of the reactor. These safety rods were hung above the reactor on cables in case there was a need for an immediate shutdown. A second or two it take to, to get the rods fully inserted into the reactor. With millions of lives riding on the B reactor's results, every piece in this intricate design was precisely milled and painstakingly assembled. It was exactly what the war effort needed.